Welcome to the OC Varsity Week in Review. I'm Jonathan Camus, and let's kick off the show with two teams in the top 10 as Capistrano Valley visits Dana Hills. In the first, Brendan Hill drives right into the teeth of the defense and dishes it down low, but Capo's Kevin Panzer is having none of it. A great block and outlet to teammate Jake Mathers for the slam dunk. But right before the half would close, the hill of Dana, Brendan, gets the shot to rattle in. It's 36-29 Dolphins. In the second half, Dana Hills pulls away as Ray gets, gets a three on his way to 31 points as Capo loses 68-58. To girls soccer now, where the number two team in the county, San Clemente, visits to Soro. It's tied one all at the half, but the last 10 minutes belong to San Clemente's super sophomore, Danny Weatherholt. She kicks in the loose rebound, giving the Tritons the 2-1 lead. Five minutes later, she gets by her defender and rockets another one in for a two goal lead. Finally, she caps off her night with her first ever hat trick. San Clemente wins four to one. How cool would water polo be with diving boards? Just, just saying. Mission Viejo in San Clemente. This game was all SC. Celine Lazaro rockets this shot in for a goal. Later, some rough action here in the water as Candace Schroeder bullies her defender and nearly takes the heads off the Diablos in the process. The Tritons win 14-6. Finally, it was Wednesday night smack down in Laguna Hills as the Hawks took on Irvine. And number one ranked Laguna suplexed and pinned their way to yet another victory. Can these boys be stopped? Find out next week on the OC Varsity Week in Review, brother. As always, thanks to Cox 3 Sports Zone for their footage and keep those clicks locked on OCVarsity.com where we've got you covered.